Hey everybody, happy Easter for those of you that celebrate it and uh, hope you are having a wonderful Sunday morning on this very last day of March. Spring really starts kicking in and soon it'll be summer and hurricane season and oh I hate that time of year. I really do, but <laughs> I like the fall, I like the winter here uh, because the winters are basically like summers back in Connecticut when I was a young kid. Nowadays, it's the weather's so different. I hope you all are just just really, really having a great, great day. Um, as the title says, um, tomorrow I made a video, which is a major announcement, um, something that I'm very happy about. Um, you know, it's been a tough four years um, for this channel, for myself. Uh, physically trying to keep things going uh, but always fighting forward um, and I have a lot to say in the video and for me everything has kind of come full circle so I'm, I'm really excited about that um, uh, you know some people maybe won't think it's a big deal um, but for me um, it is a big deal um, I've been training, I've been lifting, I've been uh, playing racquetball, you know, trying to do a lot of things to get myself back where I can do certain things. And uh, where th th there's just a lot to say tomorrow. Um, so, the Queen and I, I'm, I'm going to tell you a story, it's going to work its way into the next thing here. Oh, let me grab a water first. So we have this like little outlet uh, place over by um, by uh, just out, outside of Ocala. And where are you going? Oh, well, lay there. She's fussy today. She didn't eat her breakfast either. So I don't know whether I should open that door and let her go eat. She can wait a little bit because we're not we're not going to be horribly long today. Dick, how are you? Uh, Clint, good to see you. Mm. I just woke up a little while ago. Took a shower. Came out here. I wanted to get this done. Wife's cooking uh, breakfast. So I want to jump all over that. Um, so I look for, you know, like good energy drinks to get me going because my routine is um, I get up about 530. I head to the gym. Um, work out. And then I, I come back here and I start my job, which is a big change for, you know, for me. And, um, you know, sometimes I just, it, it, you know, if I'm dragging a little bit, especially in, in these early months when I'm, you know, trying to put it all back together again. Um, so we go up to this place because my son likes the stuff. Um, he's a, he likes C4. Now, that stuff is like $4 a can. But if you go to... Happy Easter, Monster. Um, if you go to this place, they have a case of it for like 15 bucks. So, I got him a case of that. Um, and then I usually look for zero sugar and, and no carbs. Uh, you know, I find a few things. But I also like these Propel waters. So Propel, if you're watching, this is a uh, advertisement. You, know, you guys could pay me uh, PayPal. Um, you know, zero, zero calories, black cherry. And, you know, during the day, you know, I'll have my cup with the ice in it, you know, and just uh, I'll sip on that all day because it doesn't do you any, any, any harm. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, I found like, like a thing of... Uh, zero sugar zero sugar energy Gatorades so we went up there to grab those and uh, uh, they, they were like five bucks and then there was this big shopping cart and because the cans were dirty and a little sticky it was full of C4 stuff and it said free on it so we must have got about a hundred dollars worth of C4 and washed it all off um, and stuff and 
uh, they were fine. And we got them for free. And they weren't expired or anything. They just, you know, they got sticky or something. Something exploded in, in with a, a couple of cases. And uh, they just didn't even want to bother to try to sell it. So we grabbed it. Uh, the Globe by uh, Happy Easter. Really enjoying your farm, uh, your shorts about your farm. Well, uh, I'm going to be doing more shorts about board games, but uh, there's just so much going on on the farm. Uh, we ran that. We ran, you know, three football fields uh, worth of fence and got that up um, in a day, which, you know, really taxed us last Sunday. But we got it done. We got it done. Um, and uh, it, it's it's fun. I, you know, it's another utilization. Uh, I try to keep everything on YouTube. I do have a X account or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I have an Instagram and I'll throw up a little shorts or little pictures uh, of stuff um, and you're going to be seeing more stuff on those platforms but as far as like having a uh, discord and stuff like that I just don't have time I'm really just trying to concentrate on really making this YouTube channel great again I know that sounds a little uh, just bear with me um, I really want it to be special, uh, like it used to be. Um, I've been through a war the last four years with my health. Um, I've been through a war um, trying to keep things going. Um, nearly losing my life twice. Uh, you know, uh, moving here to the farm. And, y you know... There has been a lot of work, and I've had to fight my way through a lot of pain, and I've tried to keep this thing going. You know, there are people that mean a lot to me. You know, the Jamie Stigmeyers and 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 uh, the Jason Hills, and and uh, you know, the people at Miniature Market. I never wanted to let down, so I kept fighting forward. Uh, it wasn't the best quality of stuff, but I'm trying to turn that around, not to be competitive with everybody else but to be to be me for you guys um you uh, you know you know we lost a lot of people and we don't grow anymore that's okay the people that stayed deserve that that have hung through this four years or have come on lately deserve me to give my best to help you financially to get you know to show you things okay um, again, I, I don't mind showing you newer stuff, but I try not to be cult of the new. I try to find things that you guys can, uh, save money at. Um, I try to find things <clears throat> and do things for you. So when you invest into this channel, I, I give back to you. And that kind of segues, pretty nice segue, by the way, uh, into the next thing, which is we were at Carabas which I think I originally started saying, but I get off on tangents. Excuse me for a second. <coughs> oh, I swallowed wrong. <coughs> now you watch. After everything I've, I've, <coughs> I've been through, now I'll choke to death on, on this thing. Um, hey, D. Uh, I hope... Everyone has a great day. Same to you, my friend. So, uh, we were there. And we were looking at the menu. And my wife's on the phone. She's usually on the phone anyways. <coughs> and she looks on the phone and she goes, You know, we belong to the rewards program here. And we have 10% off and a free advertiser that we can use. We can trade in our points. And I'm sitting there and I'm going... Well, that's pretty cool. And, you know, and then we had something for Ollie's, which is a, a discount store. And everybody has a discount card. And I thought to myself, so many of you sign up. I, I, I think it's, oh, God, to be a super user or you donate here for a Godzilla. And I wanted to change. And I'm always thinking of how... I never want it to be where I start up a patron, <coughs> excuse me, and I just have a section that says, you're a producer. Thanks for giving all this money during the year. 
that's taking that's not giving back and um not that there's anything wrong with that with the channels that do things and things like that because uh, i'm really in a mode where i just i want to see peace among people all people um <coughs> you know I, it, it's everybody just pointing fingers and this cutthroat thing you know as as this industry gets bigger the board gaming world you know, there's more people trying to cut each other's hamstrings or and fake and things like that. I just don't want that. I want this to be a place of peace, of love, of <coughs> caring for each other. And being everything that we can be. Uh, being the best that we can be. Games were made to bring people together, not tear them apart or, you know have you point at someone and say well you're different i don't want to play with you, you. or <coughs> you don't have the same beliefs i do and i'm going to sit there and argue while i'm taking my turn there's no time for it in this day and age we are all at a very at crossroads and it's time to just really <laughs> I, i'm going to choke to death i swear <coughs> um We're at a crossroads, and you have to decide which way you're going to go. And I'm deciding which way I'm going to go. So anyways, I had come up with this thing that I'm going to give people points. So if you pay pay a dollar to, to hear Godzilla roar, that's going to earn you a point. Now, you will not be able to spend... This is going to start tomorrow, okay? Um... And it kind of coincides with some of the, 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 the major announcements and stuff that I have going. Um, and boy, I got a lot to say, to say today. So, you know, strap in. Uh, you're more than welcome to buy any seat that you have there. But I only think you're going to need the edge. But what I want to do is those people that are members of this channel, meaning that they donate monthly... They are going to start on April 1st accumulating points. For every dollar, you get one point. And what I'm going to be doing over the next six months is um, getting things ready. Okay, We're going to have an auction in there, but after six months, uh, and six months from now would be October, I believe, right before Christmas, which I think is, is good. Um, October 1st, we are going to start having our Christmas auctions and stuff like that. I get too many games in, okay? I'm very blessed by, by the companies that uh, there are certain things I want to keep, and then there are certain things that I kind of move on, okay? And I'm very fortunate that I have a, a, a lot of great companies that say, hey, I know you do charity auctions and things like that. <clears throat> but as you donate money, it becomes like a savings plan in a way. And you'll be able to spend that money on auctions. So say there was something up for bid. Um, say we had a, a, a huge lot of cyberpunk. Okay. And you wanted to bid $100. But things are tough. You don't have $100. But you do have 40 points. Okay. Saved up. You can bid $60 plus your bank of points, and that would be your bid. I'm also going to have things that I will be, after after that month, that I am going to be putting together and putting aside, which will coincide with tomorrow, okay, that I will put up a list of things that people will be able to bid on or, 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 or purchase, and they can use their points. So, you know, there might be a bunch of Blood Bowl teams. There might be, um, you know, Hero Quest stuff. There might be, you know, I'm making stuff up off the top of my head. There might be certain things uh, that, that I'll have. And you can use your points to purchase those things, and I'll send them, okay? And shipping will be taken care of, okay? Now, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. 
you will be able to use your points and we will work things out to make sure that we take care of things okay so you know even if you didn't have enough points you can maybe see something like a blood bowl team wow that's one of rob's old painted blood bowl teams i really want that it's worth 50 points okay or 50 dollars you can use 40 of those points and 10 of your dollars it brings things down you know people can't afford to just throw money out but if you you know want to help support the channel you're getting something back and i think that's a good thing and you know there'll be some big big items there'll be some special items there's some things that that i am in the works of and we're going to be doing things like that and uh, i'll be you know when when somebody does a, you know a super chat now you know uh, not only do you get a get godzilla but you go on to the spreadsheet um, because you donated such and such a money and that begins everything okay and i think it's something that you know when i'm doing live things and people are so kind i have to start figuring a way to give back and this is a way to give back there are plenty of times i get doubles and triples of games you know i'm going to bring it to you guys um and make it easier for you um so that's my idea i would love to hear in the comments and, and i really hope you guys put it in the comments what your thought of this program is um i just don't feel I don't feel that I should take, I should also, for those of you that help, I should try to do something back to, to kind of even the score. So we're on an even playing field. Uh, I'm not saying here, oh, you know, um, it's so hard to make videos. Uh, I need your money or your support in order to make a, a video. I don't feel that it's very hard to make videos it really isn't um to make really high quality you know like like rodney and stuff like that yeah it takes a lot of time it does and if that's going to be your full-time job okay i could see what people are doing but you know to turn on the camera and just talk to you i mean that doesn't it takes my time but it doesn't take a lot of money okay you got to make sure you have good internet god knows that we're suffering with that um, another thing, um, this week we've got a set number of videos, but next week, next week we have something that I've been kind of thinking back to the things that we've done and the things that people have enjoyed and I've enjoyed doing as well. <clears throat> Finally, almost to the point where I'm not choking anymore. Hold on. Um, but starting the following week, and it's going to tie in with a bunch of things and you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about is I've never, I've covered shadows of brimstone extensively on this channel, but the one that I never covered, uh, there, there's two sets I have never covered on this channel as I was going through seeing what I could do a little differently and with playthroughs and things like that as you know i continually uh get you know start building the monster back and getting myself where i need to be good morning from kentucky hope all's well over gaming good day i'm glad to see you are feeling better i'm i'm doing fantastic over game thank you um we are going to take from the beginning to the end uh Swamps of Death. I've never done this one. I've done the Ancient City one about a billion times. But I've never done this one. I've never covered this, never put it together, never painted it for you, never got it ready for you. And um, I think we're going to do that. I think it'll be fun. And uh, we'll have a good time with it. And we'll play out of this beautiful revised edition and we'll be talking you know what is revised about it how it works um 
I may even have a video at the end of the week where we'll do just a nice little unboxing and things like that. Another one that I've never done, which is like a major, major, um, uh, major expansion for this game and other worlds, uh, Tradaria. Um, this, this just screams a good time and mixing this in would be a lot of fun and I think uh, we we would have a lot of fun with that so over the, the weeks you're going to be seeing that as well as we're going to go back to Gates of Valhalla okay and we've got the new Thunderforge Titan uh, which it's just a badass dude um, so we're going to do that uh, Clint says that's a shock the Indian Scout is my favorite character you know something? My favorite character, of course, is the Drifter, but he's brutal because he just brings more monsters. But um, I used to like doing him with the with the oh, I, what did I call the guy? The um, the Bandit uh, because it'd be good, bad, ugly. I, I would do something like that. Um, but I'm really interested in the Scout now. Thanks, thanks, Clint. So we're going to get that all jazzed up and put together. Uh, we'll do it together. I'll show you how to do it. You know, for those of you that may not have gotten this set, maybe just went with the other things like I've done for so long. And um, we are going to take this through and, and have some fun. And I, I, I look forward to doing things like this. Again, we're turning a corner. We are... Um, really making things to make sense and with the loyalty program that you know reward program uh the um some of the other things i have to announce i finally feel that after four years we can start going forward uh like i had planned uh listen i'm not getting any younger you know i'm i'm over 60 and um You know, I just hope, you know, I could stay healthy enough and go as long as I can go. Um, bring as much as I can to the table for as long as I can. Listen, there's a lot of younger guys and yes, and there's now there's millions of girls out there and, and guys that are doing all kinds of things, couples and all this stuff. So many different things that, that do it so much better than, than we can. But I can promise you that you know the quality will not be top quality because I just don't understand the AV part of this or the technology part. But I can promise you this. I will give you the best that I can give. I'm going to sneeze. I know it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, there we go. And, and for me, that's, you know, I, I'm, I try to bring a service, not a shell. Um, not, not, you know, a glitzed up infomercial. Um, again, there's nothing wrong with those things. There's people that just do it so, so well. And, uh, and, uh, I, I just, for me to be able to, you know, one of the things that I always admired, and, uh, and I'm going to talk a little bit here, Shannon, happy Easter to you, my brother. Um, I've never been afraid to say what I feel, okay? Um, you know, I'm Catholic, I celebrate Easter, so I'm not afraid to, to wish people happy Easter. So this whole, you know, politically correct thing or whatever it is, I, you know, I'm an old guy. Um, I believe everybody has rights to say and think and feel what they want. It's the reason... I fought for so long. It's the reason I've been in the military for so long. Um, you believe people should love one another, care for one another. Um, but I always looked at things like sports. Like, I've got to go out and win, you know. If I go play racquetball, okay, which this has saved my life in a lot of ways because it's helped with my lateral movement. And, uh, you know, at my age, uh, you know, I'm starting to put my size back on, which, you know, usually at this 
part of the juncture you start sliding downwards and no I'm going upwards and I think I was wrong for the longest time um, when I was with the dice tower I wanted us to win you know I wanted us to be better than everybody because people would take shots here and there and I would say oh, you threw down the gauntlet we're gonna go okay and we're, we're gonna f not not f fight physically but you know we're gonna I'm gonna be competitive highly competitive and things like that when I started my own channel uh, you know there were snide remarks there was uh, a punk in Canada that ran his mouth one time when just because I didn't like something um, and I never understood that and I think that deep in my heart you know the competitiveness uh, of, of who I am um, and I always said that if I went to a convention, I'd, 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 I'd put the fear of God in him. And now I'm at a point where I think I'm stronger than I've ever been. You know, getting back to being bigger, as big as I ever been. But I've changed a, a bit. And I've realized the mistake is this isn't a competition. This isn't a, you know, fighting for a slice of piece of pie. Um, this is just people watching and, and hopefully you're giving them something, uh, to help them in their daily life. Uh, whether it's, you're showing something off that they were thinking of buying or showing something off that they went, wow, that doesn't do it for me. I just saved myself a uh, hundred dollars. I can do something else with that. I can save it for next time. Let me make sure I pay my bills. Um, not hyping things up, making you feel like you missed out, but showcasing things and saying, hey, when you get a chance, you know, go get this. Um, and forgiving. Forgiveness. When you almost lose your life twice because of an awful, awful disease. Um... And, you know, being allergic to it. You know, I've never been sick a day in my life. And here I am. Um, I just think you look at things differently. And um, you, you kind of look at what you've done, your body of work. The good things that you've done and you hold yourself accountable for the, the bad things that you've done um, there were a lot of things I could have done better and I promise you uh, I'm working on those things to be better to bring you better stuff to show how much I care about everyone that I just don't like to see anyone hurt I, you just get to a certain age um, where you grow up a bit and you just want to do right by by people and that's what this channel's about it's not about fame I care less when, when am I going to go to another convention I don't I, I who knows I may never go to another one you know uh, you know Gen Con or Origins um, I may never do a lot of things. I may just make videos until I can't make videos. But I'm going to make sure that I give my best and everything to you guys. And uh, that's part of the thing that after this horrible four years that have ground this channel to a halt. Um, that I finally felt and fought and have come back to the point where with the job with some of the things with the internet that'll be coming soon and you know just my overall health and well-being and um, state that I just want to do good things um, and it's been that way for a while now and it's I think it's really shown in the channel um, I think I have to earn um, your viewership and um, your support and um, do a better job and and I, I'm, I'm I plan on it I plan on giving everything I've got and you know tomorrow's announcement you know video 
um, comes full circle. We, we talk part of it, you know, it's a long video, but you know, I talk about the, you know, the new loyalty reward program and things like that. Um, and, uh, we're going to give our best. Now this week we got a lot of unique videos. You know, I always said, uh, eggless. Hello from the Netherlands. Well, how are you doing? There's pizza. Yeah, there is. Uh, it's, uh, I think your mom's making it right now. So just go upstairs. Um, should be right there. Made with love. And grab yourself a slack, my brother. <laughs> um, one of the things... Oh, um, so I've been reaching out to people, which is outside my comfort zone. Uh, I reached out to Tanares... Tanares... Tanaris Adventures, or uh, that company, and which happens to be, uh, oh no, they're, they're not in the Netherlands. I reached out to them and uh, to see if they would send us a review copy. I have not heard back from them. It's okay. You know, it's, it's, it's a shot in the dark. We're not a big channel. But I did reach out to the people who did Primal The Awakening. And ask them, hey, is there any way that we can do a review copy? You'll see why after tomorrow. Um, and they they said, yeah, sure, we'd love to send you one. So that'll be here in a couple weeks. And I'm excited about that. Uh, what was the other one I reached out for? Argomania or something like that? From a company in the Netherlands. That's what triggered my, my, my thoughts there. Um, it's a, a venture game, and uh, I haven't heard back from them, but it is at Miniature Market, so I I think I'll just pick it up and bring it in. Um, I try to reach out to different companies now, and you know, because things are tight after, you know, putting out $40,000 plus, you know, $30,000 plus, it's close to $40,000 uh, for my health. Um, to be here sitting here even um, I wanted to make sure that that um, you know I try to bring in some of the newer stuff so you guys can see it and I think that's really important um, so you know it's the last day of March we're headed you know April 1st and it's no joke there's no April Fools in this um Tomorrow, you know, we have a lot. I have a lot to say. Some people might think, oh, well, how's that? But, but for me, it's everything coming full circle. And um, I need to just own what I'm going to be doing. And um, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about a lot of things. Um, we have so much stuff here. And I think it's just important to share as much as I can with you and and do those things uh my brother who is a big fan of thunder uh, of fury road him and i had uh, a bit of a discussion um i wasn't supposed to say i'm talking to him but now that I, the cat's out of the bag i can't take it back especially since it's live uh, i went to walmart yesterday because we had to pick up a few things and there was this four four film collection Mad Max and I promised him I would see this Fury Road it was okay but I like the original Road Warrior you know the Mad Max the Road Warrior Beyond the Thunderdome so I picked this up to add to my collection I have a massive DVD collection and the, the, the reason I bring this up is grab as many movies as you can because it seems like people are trying to erase, you know, prior movies. You know, grab a copy of the Maltese Falcon. Grab a copy of this, that, and the other. And keep it, you know, because um, with streaming services and things like that, and them outlawing so many different movies and stuff like that, and, and uh, you, know, you know, getting rid of things. Oh, we remade this so we don't need the old version. Well, I, I, I just think to get a different 
perspective you should should have the older versions as well um you know i have a lot of the old godzilla movies and things like that and i, I just i'm always buying something and adding it to my collection and i love i love movies which one of the videos this week you know certain movies bring up certain memories in your life uh songs um are the soundtrack of your life you know if you had to make a cd of your life what would be on that cd uh, i did a video kind of talking about the board games that have affected me through my life from a very young age uh pretty much you know to a few years ago and i i, I wonder what are the things that you guys do or you guys played that that have affected you through your life or remind you of a certain time of your life so uh, I, I made a video of that and I, I think uh, you'll like it uh, Droopy Droopy Dorf uh, movies and old cartoons are what I'm buying for the kids like the old Looney Tunes yeah I did too uh, Limestones and Jetsons yep yep I, I, I have all that uh, watching old Godzilla and Ultraman yeah well, uh, I do that with my grandkids I watch uh, the Herculoids um, Thundercats oh god what's the other one that I picked up uh, uh, Johnny Quest uh, all those all those old 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 stuff that we that we used to watch um, the old Conan, Conan uh, cartoon Roy Thomas did some of the episodes. Really good. Uh, just a lot of unique stuff. Uh, hold on to those DVDs. Yes. The owners of the IPs will dangle them before us for maximum profit. Yeah. You know, and, and there's a lot of things that, you know, I'll mention a movie to somebody and they'll go, I've never seen that. Like, oh, you've got to watch that. And then we'll sit down and we'll watch it and they'll go, oh my God. And there's so many things that people haven't experienced. So uh, we got that vid video going up, uh, talking about my life a little bit through board gaming. Uh, some of the events that I've had and things that I've done. Um, tomorrow's ma uh, major announcement. We've got Marvel Zombies, Fantastic Four box. We've got, uh, we talk about Onslaught from WizKids, when, you know, over a year later. How's that holding up? Um, and then I've got a ton of reviews that I'm working on. Um, we're going to be doing a live play of Legendary, of Fortune and Glory. We've got Shadows of Brimstone stuff coming up. Uh, it's going to be a busy couple of weeks and you know, we've got our major announcement tomorrow. So I try to fill things up, I try not to get too far ahead where things become irrelevant. But, uh, the most important thing is I just try to bring you the best that I can bring you for sure. How long have I been yakking for 39 minutes? Really? That's it. That's not bad for me, but, uh, And, and, you know, I have so many things that are in the wrapper here that I'm going to start unwrapping and saying, hey, let's take a look at things that you can get on discount uh, and take a look at some of the stuff that's gone by. Because, you know, when you really think about it, there's been thousands of games that come out every single month. I, I mean, every single year, every month, if it came out every single month. And you kind of go... Well, I can only play this many that maybe you're missing. That maybe that would be a grail game in your collection. There's plenty to see, that's for sure. All right, my friends. I am going to go have breakfast with my beautiful wife and my nasty grandchildren. I am going to um, enjoy the day. I think I'm going to sit back and relax a little bit. I was thinking of maybe filming something. But I think I'm going to go easy with that. And uh, uh, who knows, maybe I'll, I'll film something and we'll get it together and, and start working on things. That's for sure. Oh, geez. And just throwing the internet, the, the, the Skylink is acting up a little bit. So 
Uh, there might be a little buffer in, so I apologize. So, with that said, we have plenty of things to do. We also have War of the Ring, War of the Ring card game, the solo expansion, which I have right over here that I have to go through, and and uh, we're going to get that a go. I've got a few surprises. Uh, I, I also was sent this this prototype copy that I have to work on of this uh, Blackbeard's game. This guy. Uh, he's from Poland, so of course I'm going to help him out because I'm Polish. And um, I'm looking at it right now. Um, they had this pirate PD guy do this video, and oh my God. Uh, I'm going to just try to be a little bit more thorough. Um, everybody's got their own little thing, and that's cool. Uh, time to break... Our winter spring is in the air. Yes, it is. And uh, we've got a lot coming up. Convention season's coming up. All the new games are going to be coming out soon. Uh, we've got all these wonderful things that we're going to experience together. And I hope I can bring you uh, some of the best coverage that you've, you've ever seen. Um, you guys are the best. I love you dearly. I really do. Uh, please watch our, my video tomorrow as I'll explain a lot of things. And uh, let me know what you think about the loyalty re rewards program where if you give something, we're going to give something back. That's for sure. So, um, um, I think that about cover it. I think we've hit it all on, on the head. And I all hope you have a wonderful Easter. I hope you have a wonderful day day for those of you that don't celebrate and just 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 be good to one another that's the most important thing and like i used to say all the time to the world you may be one person but to one person you may be the world go easy everybody love you all have a great great 